Hey YouTube, it's Bia. Um, okay, so you're watching Freedom Fighters Recovery Tuesdays, and um, this week we are going to be focusing on the effects of under eating, which are, of course, there's a myriad of things to talk about. And today I'm going to try and focus on thinking and like the consciousness, like the rational thinking, constant black like, concentration, blah 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 blah. You'll see. Don't want to give it all away. Um, um, there's there's so much to say about this specific like subtopic and just even like the effects of under eating. There's there's the complete spectrum. Um, it was very hard to kind of like single it down to a ten minute video. Um, so I just as as all sufferers know, there are also mental effects of an eating disorder or just plain under eating if it just happens to be a day you didn't have a chance to eat or something you know just a, someone a normal person you know hold on my dog's barking and she has to stay outside Focus. um some argue like that's what classifies an eating disorder that there's the mental effect to it um obviously i know that Maybe you know that too if you're a sufferer, but there's people watching this who aren't. There's more than just the weight loss involved in an eating disorder. And the effects of the under eating on the, the brain, basically, is it brings on severe emotional distress. Severe. I just finished doing a journal, an old journal entry on my own channel, and I was looking through some old journal entries, and I wrote in caps a lot. Um, and I can just read that I remember the extreme distress I was going through sitting in that hospital room writing my journal entry. There's also depression and a decline in concentration. That's a really big thing, too. Um, when you don't, you, uh, there's, the, there's the obvious, you know, you don't, you're not eating, you're not getting the vitamins and minerals and everything that give you the energy to think. There's also what some people, a lot of people don't know is, your memory cells in your brain when you are um, anorexic, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this probably also happens to bulimics too, but I'm, don't quote me on that. Um, memory cells disappear. You heard me right. They disappear. And you can't always get those back. I, I was very sick during my 8th grade year, for instance. If you asked me to talk about... Um, my my eighth grade year, my last year in grade school, it's a blank. I don't remember. Okay, memory set memory cells. When you under eat severely, like when you're anorexic, and it's like more than one day, you know, you will lose memory cells, and obviously that's also leading into a decline in your concentration. Which you know, think about it. That makes a judge your judgment capability also is decreasing then. And that means your grades are going to decrease or your work performance. Um, that's all just because you're not eating enough. And you're putting yourself through that severe emotional distress like I was saying. Also, there's of course the social withdrawal. The isolation that um, one puts themselves through with the effects of under eating. Um, people, these are facts, okay? These aren't just what some lonely old psychologist um, was, came up with in his office because he saw a trend in his patients. These are facts. These facts are chemically broken down. Um, I'm not just going to burst out randomly and tell people, oh, your memory cells, you know, disappear. Without any proof. There is proof, okay? It's chemically proven. And um, a lot of people just think that we're spitting out this junk, but it's it's... It's chemically proven, guys. There's no way to justify anorexia. <laughs> Sorry. Um, apathy. Um, I remember that very well. Do you? Uh, apathy was very, very, very strong. Could you call it a feeling? It's not really feeling. So, um, yeah, the apathy was a big thing. I just didn't really give a shit, to be honest. <sighs> um... Uh, the big thing I really want to talk about also is body dysmorphia. Now this can be 
a disorder on its own. You know, you can still be eating normally. You can be have body dysmorphic thoughts about the size of your nose. But we're, I want to talk about what happens when you're effective under eating. Um, body dysmorphia, okay, it's it's not real. It's an illusion, okay? Self-starvation brings on hysteria. Okay, it brings on hysteria. And within that hysteria, when I look in, when I would look into a mirror, I would see something that wasn't there. I'm not saying I saw like a giraffe or like President Kennedy or something. I saw 30 extra pounds on my thighs, 20 extra pounds on my stomach, saw cellulite, you know. The reflection is not what's real. And that is something I can't really prove. Uh, well, it can be proven because this is the tricky part. It can be proven because I can just put myself on a scale and show my and tell myself that oh I had not gained fifty pounds in the night, but that image will still be there. So in a way, it's up to you to change that thinking. And although this is one thing that the bias morphia does not go away when you go back to normal eating, that's something you have to fight through. That's a mental thing too. Um, but it is no doubt there's a a lot of it is no doubt brought on by under eating. Um, it's kind of, you know, self-explanatory. I'm sure you kind of know what I'm saying. Because the hysteria comes on, the decline in judgment, the judgment of your, your body image um, decreases dramatically. And the reflection is not what's real. I, I, know, what, I know what everyone's going through right now with the whole... But I'm looking in the mirror and I can't believe that, you know, I did not gain the weight. It looks terrible. I look, you know, disgusting. Blah, 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 blah. I remember thinking those same exact things. Sometimes I still do. But then maybe the next day you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, I'm skeletal. Or damn, I'm not, you know, so-and-so. If the fraction is not what's real, you, you, it's something you have to really accept. And you have to know that what other people perceive is, see you as is what's real. But you can't even begin to imagine how other people see you as in reality because our minds are so um distressed, I guess, from the effects of the under eating on our mental capabilities. And the also the other thing is you think you th you think that you're thinking right. That's where irrational thought comes in. I, you know, when I was really sick, you know, like I said, I was going through my journals. When I was really sick, I, I truly, truly believed that the only way to live my life was to eat on X number of calories per day or to exercise for X amount of hours a week or something. That, And I thought that was truly my philosophy of life. I thought that was truly what I was going to help me live and get me through the day. And I thought everyone should follow that. I thought I was right and my doctor was completely nuts and bozo and was wrong. Well, uh, now I kind of see a lot differently. Um, it's, you, you think, you're, it's hard to say, you think you're thinking right, but it's irrational thinking. Um, and that comes from an effect of under eating. Because like I said, with the decline in concentration, memory, judgment capability, uh, severe emotional distress, that all comes, that's all into the big irrational thinking, you know, hot tub. And it wouldn't be called irrational thinking if it wasn't right. And I know how hard it is to realize that yourself, because I, I still have my doubts, you know, I still go through some very hard days when I think I really shouldn't be eating, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But then I also, I look back and I remind myself, I'm not thinking rationally. There's something wrong right now, and I'm not thinking rationally. And you start over from there. Oh my god, that was horrible to do, this video. Because it was just like, there's so much stuff I want to go into, as I'm sure you can tell. But I have to do like a spark note version of like, under eating, which is so hard to do. Ah! Um... Yeah, and yeah, so that's the end of this video. Have a great week, everybody. Um, 
Stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, stay beautiful.